All right. Uh, define binding energy per nucleon. You can find in my lecture video. B1. Uh, the mass of nucleus polonium okay, is uh, 218.0090U. Uh, you see, this one again is just the nucleus. Okay, it's just the nucleus, it's not the atom, okay? Because we this is nuclear physics. Nuclear physics just concern the nucleus. It don't concern about the electron, okay? Not the atom, huh? just the nucleus. Uh, so this is the mass of polonium, yeah? Given the mass of the nucleus polonium. The mass of proton and neutron are, are 1.0073U and 1.87U. Okay. Uh, now this question already provide you uh, it, the mass of proton and neutron already. You don't have to check the list of constant. If the question provide you the mass of proton and neutron, then just go ahead use the, the value here. Just go ahead use the value here. You ignore the one in the list of constant. Okay? You ignore the one in the list of constant. Unless the question before uh, in the previous video, in the previous video, uh, the mass of uh, the proton and neutron not given. If the mass of proton and neutron not given in, in the questions, then you have to use the one in the list of constant. In, use, list the, uh, use the one in the list of constant. But if the mass of proton and mass of neutron are given in the questions, given in the questions, use the value that provided in the questions. Okay? Don't use the one in the list of constant. Understand? Uh, use the one provided in the question. Don't use the one in the list of constant. If not provided, not provided, then you must use the one in the list of constant. Okay? Now clear? Yeah. So uh, use this word value. Uh, use this value. Don't use the one in the list of constant. Now calculate the binding energy per nucleon. So the question asks for uh, binding energy per nucleon. Nucleon means the mass number. Yeah. So we find you need to find the binding energy and divide by the ma nucle the mass number, the nucleon number of the nucleus. So let us do part B first. Yeah, B one, B one. So first of all, we uh we derive the we find out the uh, reaction. It it has uh eighty four eighty four pro proton and then two one eight. Uh, and then we take uh, 218 just now, the 218 uh, minus the 84, uh, we get uh, the number of neutron, which is 134 neutron, uh, to get a polonium, alright? So first find the mass defect, uh, then we can find the binding energy, okay? Find the mass defect. So mass defect is, um, okay, how many proton are there? 84 proton, okay? So, okay, the mass of proton given in the question. So, just use the one in the question. So, 1.0073U. Uh, this one in atomic mass unit, U. Uh, so, if you look at all the unit all in U. Uh, if all in U, then go ahead just use the one in U. Lah. Uh, just go ahead use the one in U. So, all your, this one must be U. Uh, understand? Uh, if kilogram, then use all use kilogram. Okay, all use kilogram. If you all use kilo, if all you then use you. Don't mix up. Don't don't you plus kilogram minus you. Don't mix up. Ah, huh? don't mix up. Uh, this one all given in you you you. Then you just use you you you. Uh, and whenever you are um, you use um, a non SI unit, remember to write down the unit in the questions. Yeah. Write down the unit in the question because if you don't write down the non SI unit there to identify it is non SI unit, then we will minus mark. Bear in mind, yeah. I'm not joking. Okay, so this is um uh, plus uh, this is one three uh, one three four one three four and then uh, mass of neutron is uh one point one point zero zero eight seven okay u. Uh, you again, you must write down the non SI unit there. Uh, and then minus the mass of polonium is 218.0090U. Uh, uh, okay. Ah, so the answer will be. Uh, let me check the answer. Yeah. Uh, let me check the answer. Uh, 
So let me check the answer. Okay. All right. So I get uh, I get one point seven seven atomic mass unit U. Ah, uh, okay. So now um, since already in U, I can straight away find the energy in uh, MeV. Yeah, MeV because I know that. I know this this thing, yeah. One uh, U is nine three one point five MeV. Uh, straight away find MeV energy. Okay, so um, okay, uh, we know one U is equivalent to nine three one point five MeV. Okay, and nine three one point five MeV. So now how to find? Um, so. Uh, the binding energy you don't have to use the delta m c square. You don't have to use. You just uh, you don't have to. Never mind. You just binding energy is equal to. Uh, you can you don't need to use the m c square. You just take one point seven seven u because we already have uh, one u is ninety one point five MeV. So just uh, multiply multiply ninety three one point five MeV. Uh, if one u if one u is ninety one point five mbv, how about one? How about one point seven seven? Ah, that that is what it means. So uh, multiply. Okay, let's multiply ninety three one point five, and we get um what's the answer? Uh, it is um it is uh one six four eight point seven five five. MeV energy. Ah, uh, okay. So that's the binding energy. Now I want to find binding energy per nucleon. Binding energy per nucleon. Ah, uh, just divide. Yeah, divide. Okay, write down the binding energy first in MeV. Okay. Now I want to divide in the nucleon number. Nucleon number. The mass number is two one eight. Ah, uh, two one eight. Yeah, two one eight. So divide by two one eight. So divide by two one eight. What's the answer? The answer is um seven point five six three. Seven point five six three MeV uh per nucleon. Uh MeV per nucleon. Is that correct? Okay, is that correct? Uh yes. Seven point five six MeV per nucleon. Ah, this one I get the same answer. I get the same answer because we are using the same value of mass of proton and mass of neutron given in the questions. So our answer will be the same. Okay. Ah, previous video our answer not the same because I use the value in the list of constant, but the the person ah. Uh, but but the author for this question they use uh, other values not in the list of constants so that's why answer will be different and uh, this one we are using the same uh, same mass of proton and neutron given in the questions so we arrive at the same answer okay seven point five six MeV per nucleon okay now let's check the next questions. Uh, the binding energy per nucleon for this oxygen is seven point nine eight uh, MeV per nucleon. What is the mass of the nucleus in atomic mass unit? Oh my god! So, okay, J just now this question, uh, If let's let's say later, if you want to change to joule, just now the part 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 B question, part B one. If let's say uh, you got the uh, the uh, energy in MeV already, and you want to convert to joule. Uh, also can convert to joule by multiply mega multiply electron charge. Ah, uh, okay. Then finally, you also can find the binding energy per nucleon in joule per nucleon. Ah, uh, joule per nucleon. You understand? Ah, uh, you you can do you can all you ah uh, multiply nine three one point five get the MeV first. After get the MeV multiply mega multiply electron charge you get the joule. Ah, uh, then the binding energy per nucleon. You also can find the unit, the answer in unit SI unit joule per nucleon. Ah, uh, yeah, because I did tell you to convert mega electron volt to joule is multiply. You see, mega electron volt to convert to joule is multiply mega multiply electron charge. Okay, good. Ah, uh, that's the if you want the you the answer in joule lah. 
Now, how about this? The next question, part two. So, binding energy per nucleon is this. Uh, so, what is the mass of nucleus? So, this one have to work work backwards. Last time it is given the mass. You see, last time is given the mass of nucleus. Given the mass of nucleus, and then finally you find binding energy per nucleon. This time it gives you the binding energy per nucleon. Asks you to find the mass of nucleus. Ah, it is like opposite. You see, last time is from, uh, let me show you. Uh. Last time is uh, mass of nucleus, then find the binding energy per nucleon. Now, if given binding energy per nucleon, find the mass, uh, find the mass of nucleus. Do you see that? We have to work backwards. That means, last time you do from equations, and then finally binding energy per nucleon. Now it gives you the binding energy per nucleon first and then work backwards uh, until you do the mass defect uh, until finally you get the mass of the oxygen. Uh, so it work backwards. So it's the same thing lah. It's the same thing. So how to do? How to do? So what you do is um, first of all uh, we do from work binding energy per nucleon okay equal to this one. So first find the binding energy. Uh, work backwards. Okay. Work backwards. We know the nucleon is 16. The nucleon is 16. So, uh, so EB divided by 16. Okay, divided by 16, you get 7.998 uh, MeV per nucleon. And then, uh, this MeV per nucleon. So, the binding energy is equal to, let me calculate, uh, 7.98 multiply uh, 16. Okay, uh, so it's a 127.68 MeV. Ah, that's the binding energy. That's the binding energy. So, what's next? What's next? So, um, I got the binding energy already. Uh, 127.68 M, uh, MeV. This is MeV. So, now I want to find um, the uh, mass defect. I need to find the mass defect. I don't have to use the formula delta mc squared. I don't have to use because I I want because I want the final answer, the mass of the nucleus. You look at here. I want the mass of nucleus in atomic mass unit. I want the in atomic mass unit. Uh, the, uh, so that means I want the answer in U. Uh, so I convert MeV back to U lah. I convert MeV back to U. How do I convert MeV back to U? I divide, I divide 931.5. Understand or not? I divide 931.5, I get the how U. Uh, so uh, this or we can write it like like this. We can write it, uh, this is like um the delta M and then uh, this one uh, used to be to find the energy, to find the energy, we used to be use the mass uh, multiply 931.5 uh, over 1u, isn't it? Uh, or we uh, just write it as uh, we used to be multiply 931.5 uh, to get the MeV, yeah, per, which is per u, isn't it? We used to um, use the delta M multiply 931.5 to get the energy in MeV. Uh, now we want to get the delta M, we divide, uh, we divide, yeah. Uh, from MeV back to U, we divide 91.5. So this one go to the other side, it divide lah. Uh, go to the other side, it divide. So it's uh, 127.68 divide by 931.5. So what's the answer? What's the answer? 127.68 divide by 931.5. Uh, so it is... Uh, Zero point. Uh, try to make as many decimal places as possible, lah. Uh, one zero one three seven zero seven. If you, if you uh, if you go to uh, round it up, become zero point one four. That is not accurate. It's not accurate, ah. Uh, it's not accurate. Don't round it up with two decimal places. All the middle step you must and at least. Uh, at, uh, all the before, before the final answer, before final answer, all the steps, yeah, all the steps you must maintain, must maintain more or equal to four decimal place. 
You understand not? Before the final answer. On, uh, only the final answer, only the final answer, final answer you can put two decimal place. Uh, but before that, before that all maintain more equal or more than four decimal place. Okay? Don't put, don't straight away round it up 0 0.14, don't. Okay, make it more decimal place, uh, 0 0.13707. Um, this one in atomic mass unit lah, uh, U. Okay, I divide by 93.5, I get the mass defect in U. Okay, maintain as many decimal places as possible to maintain accuracy. So next is, um, uh, I already get the mass defect, so I can find the mass of the oxygen, or mass of the nuclear oxygen. Okay, so uh, it's all working backwards. Yeah. So my mass defect is 0 0.13707 U, okay, equal to how many oxygen atom is there? Oxygen is 8, 8 proton, this one also 8 proton, 8 neutron, okay. Uh, 8 proton, mass of proton, what is the mass of proton? Mass of proton, uh, yeah, mass of proton, just use this one, given in the question, 1 point, because this is under the same part, uh, part B. So 1 and 2 use the same mass of proton and neutron. Eh? So 1.0073U. Uh, 1.0073U uh, plus also because it's uh, 16 minus 8, you also get 8 neutron. 1.0087. 1.0087U uh, minus the mass of oxygen, which we want to find, which we want to find, okay, the mass of nucleus. Let's find it out. Okay, pause a second. Okay, so I get my mass of the oxygen, finally, I get is uh, 15.991 uh, in atomic mass unit, which is uh, required by the question, yeah. Uh, so, uh, is my answer correct? 15.991 16U Yes, it's almost correct Okay So I got Yeah Because the question The, the question asked me uh, He want the answer in atomic mass unit So my final answer, answer must be in Atomic mass unit Ah, understand not? Uh, atomic mass unit But if let's say the question asks you uh, The final mass in kilogram SI unit kilogram then you can change also this atomic mass unit to kilogram. How to change to kilogram? Let's say the question one, the answer in kilogram. Uh, what, how do you change to kilogram for atomic mass unit? Change to kilogram, I multiply by 1.66 exponent negative 27. Uh, I multiply, uh, which is uh, shown in here. You see that? Uh, shown in here. Uh, yeah. From atomic mass unit become kilogram, I multiply 166 negative 27. Uh, 166 negative 27. So correct, yeah? If the answer one in kilogram, okay, I multiply, multiply 1.66 exponent negative 27 kilogram. Okay, so that's all for this um uh these questions. Okay, so I uh, hope you understand. Okay, let's move on to the next question.